not the country. It's for the love. It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears next on Madden Football. One of the great venues to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport, Soldier Field in Chicago. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Chicago Bears. With my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A CD, the Chicago Bears, they come off a tough year at 3-14. and 14, The most losses in franchise history. What can they look to build around here in 2023? Well, it starts with their quarterback, and you know that he is a heck of a player for them. But they've got to get better on the defensive side of the ball. Head coach, defensive background, he's trying to amass that kind of talent and become the monsters of the midway once again. But meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, one era ends, another begins. This is a team that finished 8-9 last year, missed out on the playoffs at the very end. What needs to happen for the green and gold to be playoff bound once more? Everyone's focusing on how they're starting over on the offensive side of the ball. But to me, they have an accumulation of talent on defense that needs to play like a top 10, top 5 defense in the NFL. It's a rivalry that dates back to 1921. The Packers and Bears are underway from Chicago. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So here are the new look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season, Jordan Love. This is set up now to be the true beginning of Love's NFL career because he's finally out from under the shadow of Aaron Rodgers, and Green Bay is giving him this season to prove he can be their starter. Four years after he was drafted in the first round, we'll find out Love is the next decade-long starter for the Green Bay Packers. Love going to throw right away. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Play action this time with Love. Pass call, it's Romeo Dobbs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. They'll find Aguara complete. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring us second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Play fake. Here's Love. Blitz coming and down he goes. Call it a loss of five. A big sack to bring up third down. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Off the play fake, Love. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. A little weaver fourth down. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell coming out for Green Bay on fourth down.
And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So here come the Bears to take over on offense behind their third-year quarterback, former Ohio State Buckeye Charles, Justin Fields. We all knew Fields was an incredible athlete coming out of college. And last season, he unleashed it upon the NFL. Ran for over 1,100 yards and would have broken the quarterback's single-season record if he had played the full season. He also threw 17 touchdown passes, and that's the next jump for him. More consistency as a passer. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. Here's Fields. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Here's Travis Homer, the former Miami Hurricane. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. That's a very nice game there. Confidence building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. On first down, it's Fields. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. On second down, a run with Herbert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Of course, a part on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply. I like that. Yeah, like that. Well, yeah moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Fields throw there, complete to Mooney. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Now an option play on second down. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And they'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. 
And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Heck of a play there to get to him quick and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Fields on third down. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? No, Fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and it's 3-0. The Bears hit the score first. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. Trenton Gill to kick this away. This taken in at the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Play action. Love to throw. Caught on the right. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. They're already trailing here in this first quarter. Last thing they needed was to cough the football. Well, they coughed it up, but luckily for them, it went out of bounds. Yeah, still a long way to go, but when you're losing, every possession takes on a little bit more importance, doesn't it? And in that case, they almost made this game a lot more difficult for themselves by turning it over. Fortunate there. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped to the backfield. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Four receivers in the package. Here's third and seven. Here's Love. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Love going to give this one to Joe. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and seven. Now Love. For a right side, going to be complete to the guard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because 
He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. Second down and six now. Love now. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And he's caught. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 17-yard line. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Clock running under a minute to go now here in a fast-moving first quarter. First down, love to pass. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Here now, second and four. Throwing. Love. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves him all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they go to work on a first and goal. Dylan. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. That really sets him back. A loss of six. Well, that play's not going to go in their highlight at the end of the season, but the only benefit to the offense, maybe a little more space if they want to throw the football now after taking that loss. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Again, it'll be Dylan. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Holding offense. Unbelievable. A crucial penalty there as the hold backs him up for another second and goal. Love looking to throw it. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Able to get nine out of that pitch and catch, but now third and goal. To throw now. Here's Love. That's to the power line. Incomplete. Runs up fourth down. Solid coverage by the Bears' D. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move.
Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting up field only giving up to. Now, a loose football. The ball comes out. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Now it's Fields. Complete to his running back, Herbert. They have three yards on first down, just one yard there. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and six. To throw his fields. Get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never down for a second. They pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Another carry for Herbert on second down. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Throwing on third down, Fields. And that is incomplete. When a linebacker diagnoses a screen, who wins? The quarterback getting a throw over to the back in time or the linebacker running in to knock it away? With the athleticism of modern linebackers, they win the race more often than not. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Loving the Packers now with a first and ten at their own 26. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Now a second and ten. Love. 
Finds his receiver, Watson. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down. Love able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And they're on third and short. They just tried to spread the field. It worked. And I think that the spreading of the field, the extra receivers, has really become the next in the evolutionary chain in the NFL. Go all the way back in that situation, you're handed to the fullback, right? As we evolve, maybe you pitched it to your tailback. Now you spread the field, and you have your choices of where to throw it and complete it for a first down. At the 46-yard line. Second down and three. Play action this time with Love. Over the middle complete. That's Pearson. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And as a quarterback, you're always pleased when you can use all the weapons at your disposal. Here he spots his fullback underneath, gets the completion right there for a nice pickup. Now a first down carry by Jones. And down to the 44, five yards that time. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and five. Again, it's Jones. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's going to have a Packers first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And the running lane's not existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Kyler Gordon stopped that play before it ever got going. Great job. It's not easy playing the corner, is it? A lot of times you got to defend against the pass, but sometimes you have to play against the run. How about the job he did there, crashing inside to make that tackle for a loss? Love, they go play action now. Right side to Watson. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On third down, Love. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with they decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. And his kick is indeed good, and they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. So we're trading first-half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. You got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns.
So all field goals so far, 6-3 our score as the kick is away. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final pass in the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. On second and ten, Fields. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half, and now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. Fielded at the 33. Well, following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach is talking to his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe somebody to press it a little bit. This might be the case. Here's second and ten. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Love from the gun on third down. Now this aired out deep for Reed. And he bats it away and falls down in complete. Some coverage there and they were playing deep. That makes it obvious a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there. And it winds up incomplete. Here's Pat O'Donnell on now to punt it away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. Fields on first down. His throw incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Second and ten. Back to throw, Fields. 
And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. On third down, Herbert. Yeah, almost, but not quite. Needed 10. He got nine. Fourth down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Now here's Trenton Gill now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Taken from just outside the 30. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packers with the football here late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Love. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Tyreek Stevenson picks it off, and the Bears are going to take possession as they got it at the 42-yard line. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they got in this rookie quarter, and with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first-round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. He called that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. The Bears going to get one more possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first and ten, here's Fields. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Second and five. Here's Fields. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's third and three. Here's Fields. Oh, he's going to go for it all. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. John R. Mooney as the first half is winding down. And the Bears have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So they're able to capture the lead here just before halftime. And not only that, they get the ball to start the second half. That's right. This is almost like basketball down the stretch, right, where you get the two-for-one situation where you try and get two shots to your opponent's one. In this situation, they got the touchdown. They'll get another shot at to start the second half. Could be a big turnaround. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Let's 
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with only nine seconds remaining, and well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. A run with Jones on first down, not going to yield much. A yard tops, second down coming up. So we come upon halftime here at Soldier Field with the Bears out in front. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone downtown Orlando Studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bears were given a solid first half by their quarterback, Justin Fields. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. second half the Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick now Jones Jones now on the return and he returns this to the 22 so here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter we have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives we've hit a wall so to speak and have hit it hard haven't we because the defense is right now they seem to be a step ahead don't they beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top, or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem, but apparently it was, and now it's third down. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. Oh, good move. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. They'll toss it out right to Herbert. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Give them a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, 
turn your shoulders just like a running back, get through the line, and hit the runner in the backfield. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it, and that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. If you're the offensive pedal, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, well, you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Taken in by his big tight end. And he will step out of bounds here inside the 30. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 44 yards. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Off the play fake, Love. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Working out of the gun, Love. Caught on the right side, Reed. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. So the offense a little antsy. The flag comes out. And a five-yard penalty. Ball start. Awesome. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. Here's Love. This is caught, it's Christian Watson. Given 16 yards on the play, and that's gonna make it fourth down. And that big game may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And that gets him back within a single point. It's now 10 to 9. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. So they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat, but they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post.
So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now Herbert to start the drive. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Holding offense. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. Fields now to throw. And that'll be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Mooney, the motion man right. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. And while the guys with the ball are having a whole lot of fun keeping it on the ground, the guys on the opposite side, they are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. Third and eight. Now Fields. Dancing to his, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. But that time, finally a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, you'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case, that has to feel good for the defense. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at about the 32. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. Takes it to about the 37. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. From the 37, they work on second and six. On play action, love to throw. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Packers. Romeo Dobbs, 63 yards. And the Packers have taken the lead here this third quarter. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're going to catch the ball, 
make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. Starting on the ground with Herbert. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one. It might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. From the 22 now, here's the second down and six. Herbert once more, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play call sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Credit the defense there to Quay Walker, getting behind the line of scrimmage before they could rip off any sort of a gain. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. The quarterback run good for 10 that time, but it does lead to a third down. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. That one will go for nine yards and a first down on the keeper. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Herbert powering up the middle. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second down, they go back to Herbert. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. 
And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. DJ Moore. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Read option. Here's Herbert. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the ten to the seven. Eleven more on that one, and another first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Now it's Fields off the bootleg. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now they send a man in motion right. Fields tapping it forward. Jet sweep. Oh, and that is well read defensively. A great job of setting the edge. And that little touch pass is going to turn into a loss. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, maybe you catch the defense off guard. But they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job. And he's got Moody in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. John R. Moody with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. as the kicks away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Green Bay about set for another series. Here comes Romeo Dobbs. They might want to mix something up defensively because he's been shredding them a bit, hasn't he? That he has, and even with all the changes that you know are going on on the defensive side of the ball, he's still finding ways to get open, finding the right spots, and the delivery's been pretty good, too. And he's over 100 yards, has the one touchdown score to this point. On first and 10, Love. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. One well, the great coaches said football is a really simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush one, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. Throwing. Love. Got Dobbs over the middle. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 
They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, fourth coming. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But, boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started. The offense on third down, they're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This time, it's third and three. Now Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Nine yards that time. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 47. Love going to give this one to Jones. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. The throw by Love taken in by Watson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 29-yard line. A nice pickup of 17 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard. And it'll be second down. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Now second and nine. On the counter, here's Jones. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then, you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no game. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. On the delay, Jones. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Temptation there certainly to go for this, but I think you have to kick it right coming from the fantasy owners, right? <laughs> I mean, there are some that are going to want to kick it because they may have that kicker, but overall, get more yardage, maybe a chance for a touchdown, but no, absolutely not. Run that field goal kicker out there. Kick it. You've got to take the chance to take the lead right now. You don't want to put it back on your defense. And his kick here is good. And with that, they take the lead here 20 to 17. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. Valus Jones now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. 
So now Fields and the Bears down 20 to 17, 201 remaining. They'll have one play here just north of the two minute warning. First down, it's Fields. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. Another try, second and 10 now. Back to throw, Fields. Throw away. He's taken down with Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. Here now, third down. All eyes on Fields. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. Fourth down, Fields has to have this one. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. So now it may look bleak, but this one not over. They do have all three timeouts. Even at this point on the field, where it looks like, I mean, you're, you're really backed up, Hold them to a field goal. That's the mantra right now. You hold them to a field goal, you still got a chance to take care of business on the other end. But you're right. The three timeouts are going to be key. How well they use them to preserve clock as well as stopping them, that's the key to giving them a chance to win. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Packers get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down. And now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down. And after that, the air just went right out of the balloon. And you knew you were looking at a defeated team. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown Bears. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one score. 
score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Santos now to add the PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal now. And what a job there by Hall 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. into the game and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick 80 percent of the time the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here i just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game i'm still waiting to see that number is empirical Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they run on first down. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Love looking to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has a Packer first down. And that should be the one that finishes the script. What a chance they just took. A huge chance. They go for it on fourth down, wind up getting the first. Go ahead and admit it. You thought it was a bad call, didn't I you? I did, yes. I think, I, think did any, I think any normal person <laughs> did. How about him picking it up? Give him credit. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they 